All right, so this here is our black pool fence panel. Uh, another name for it is flat top from its uh, simple design. It's the most popular design, black flat top. Uh, now this uh, fence is in aluminium. Um, be careful when you buy uh, panels that look like this. Uh, they could be just yard fencing and they're not appropriate for your pool. Uh, why these are the ones that we sell are meant for your pool is because they are stronger and have uh, more welds uh, on them which uh, basically pass the Australian standards for a pool fence. All right, so what you wanna do first is set up your string line uh, to the line where you wanna put the fence. Make sure it's nice and level. Now I like to set my string line up to the bottom rail of the black pool fence. Um, so then what we've done here actually is we've already got a post in. But then we wanna set up this uh, to be either center to center of your post. But when I'm doing black pool fence, I actually like to make this uh, the same length as your pool fence panel. So then what you do is you just put that basically on the inside of your post. And we've actually already dug the hole here as well. But this is just to mark out the uh, fence line where you need to dig your holes. So then what you do here somehow mark this. I like to use a bit of paint. Um, now you've got to remember that you've got a 50 by 50 post as well. So what uh, sometimes I do, uh, do use is a uh, spare post cap and I put that in between the rail, right? So you put the post cap there, you mark it first, put the post cap there, then you pick this up and you run it over and put it to the other side of the post cap and you keep continuing that on, marking where the holes need to be dug. Um, that way then when, once the holes are all dug, you're pretty much going to be in the ballpark of where the posts need to go. Right, so what we want to do is uh, mark our 50 by 50 post for our black pool fence. Um, so I like to mark mine at 1200. That way I know that that line will be level with the string line. So if I put all my posts into that string line, I know the top of my posts are going to be perfect. Right, so what we want to do first is position our first post. Now, this is a 65 by 65 post, which is not necessary if you're doing a pool fence, but this is what we had lying around uh, for our first post, so we're just going to put it in. Um, so you want to make sure that the post is set on that line that we measured, so no, we know that every single post height is going to be the same. Uh, make sure it's all level and ready to go, then we just concrete that hole in. Right, now that we've got our first post in, what you want to do is cut a spacer, which is the same length as your black pool fence. In this case, it's going to be 2450. So then what you want to do um, is that we're actually going to be working out, um, now this is not going to be centered, so we put this um, spacer in between the posts. Then you come along and grab your 50 by 50 post. Now this one's made out of aluminium, like your fence. And you drop, and you sort of get that like that. Now if you've already put concrete into the hole, even better, you get this and hold it like a pendulum, let it find its level and you just slide that in, right? In line with the string line and in line with the spacer. And make sure also that you push that down only until you get to that mark on the uh, post for the string line. Then you just go ahead and make sure that post is level. And uh, if you haven't poured concrete in, pour concrete in, uh, around it now. Okay, so what you want to do next is uh, put in one of these uh, pull brackets. Now, I like to have it right at the top of the post so you get a real nice flush finish. Uh, so generally just underneath the post cap, like so. And then just like that, put two screws in. notice this post will move around a fair bit it's because for the purpose of this video we've just used um, we've just used dirt um, but you should be concreting every single one of your posts in and they won't move around at all so yeah so once you've got that in then what you want to do is uh, bring this onto the scene and you want to make sure 
that you then put these brackets on. So at the top here you have the flange bit facing down, but at the bottom you have the flange bit facing up. It makes it easy to screw together. So you put that on there, that one on there, and that one on there. So you might need a pair of hands uh, if you're doing this for your first time. I might even need a pair of hands, but who knows, let's see how we go. And you slot that one in there. Like I said, you'll get a bit of movement in that post up there. Alright, then what you want to do is uh, get this panel nice and level. Okay, so then what you want to do, once you've got that end screwed in, and this end screwed in, finish off uh, screwing off the bottom uh, hinges, or flanges, sorry. And then if you've got some extra screws, it's also good to go along and put a screw up through the top of the flange here into the uh, pull fence panel, just so you don't get that rattle. Um, so that's pretty much it, uh, how to do a pull fence. We've got a bit of a gap here at the bottom here uh, with a pull fence, you don't want that. Uh, you want to make sure it's less than 100 mil, just so kids uh, can't get underneath. Um, but yeah, there you have it, uh, black flat top pool fence.